In everybody's blood, there are both red and white blood cells. The red cells carry oxygen, and the white cells are the soldiers in your blood that fight infection. HIV is a sneaky virus and uses the white cells as an HIV factory to infect all the other healthy white cells and destroy them. Once all the cells are infected, there are far less soldiers in your blood, so it's much harder to fight off infections. In simple terms, picture an army of HIV germs swarming into the body and one by one attacking each blood cell. Soon enough, the inside of the body is completely taken over by a war between the immune system and HIV. When someone gets an HIV test, the nurse would be able to tell if that person was HIV positive if these special cells and antibodies appeared. That said, it usually takes around three months from the time of infection before HIV can be picked up. So, when you go for a full STI check, the nurse will always ask you to return after three months for a further blood sample to make sure. From the outside though, you can't tell who is or who isn't living with HIV. They don't wear an HIV badge, they don't have a rash all over their body. In fact, most people living with HIV will look and feel completely healthy. There are no obvious symptoms to HIV and many people are unaware that they are actually HIV positive. In the UK, one in three people with HIV are undiagnosed, meaning they don't know they have it.